Hey guys, Fun Football Podcast here, Isaac, and uh, I just want to say thank you for helping me hit over 300 subscribers on YouTube. It was a big goal I wanted to hit by today, and I did it. So almost a third of the way to 1,000, which is my big goal. I want to try to get as close as I can this year, so thank you. But anyways, big thank you. But Packers, okay. I think that the Packers are going to probably just trade. They're just going to take Cooper DeJean if he's available. If he's not there... I think they're going to think about offensive tackle, and that's probably the direction they'll go. I hope they don't. I hope they go defense. I hope they either go def- – if either Johnny Newton or Byron Murphy are there, that'd be sweet, or Chop Robinson. But if we could trade down three or four spots and still land a Kool-Aid, that would be like my dream scenario and get an extra pick because I want to see them move back up in the second and get another guy or get another – I don't know. I just think in the third rounder or something or fourth, that'd be sweet. And still get Kool-Aid. That's the guy I want is Kool-Aid over Dijon even. So that's where I'm at with it. The other big bold predictions, I think they're, I don't know if the Chargers are actually going to do it, but if they traded away Justin Herbert and took McCarthy, that'd be just insane. I think J.J. McCarthy is going to go by six at the latest. I think he'll actually go top five. I think the top four picks are going to be quarterbacks. I think Arizona's going to move out of that spot. They'll either move one back with, well, not one back because the Chargers would need to, move one up unless somebody else was trying to move up. That'd be the only way they need to. But I think Minnesota, somebody's going to move up to four ahead of the Chargers and the Giants. And even though the Chargers aren't in the market for a quarterback, if they do move Herbert, they will be in the market for a quarterback. So interesting stuff, Bruin. I think six quarterback, at least five, maybe six quarterbacks are going top 20. I think you're going to see the top few picks. It's going to be... Um, Caleb Williams is going to go one. Gene Daniels is going to go two. Drake May, I don't think the Patriots are going to actually do a trade. He's going to go three. Maybe maybe those two flip-flop, but those three guys are going top three, and then I think J.J. McCarthy is going to go four. And I think unless McCarthy falls to five, I think Marvin Harrison Jr. will be the first non-quarterback taken. And then Malik Neighbors, Joe Alt, Dallas Turner, Brock Bauer, some variation of that, and then some corners in the top in the little bit later. But I think if they don't move – from the spots like 11, 12, 13, I think you're going to see a Bo, I think you're going to see a Bo Nix and a Michael Penix Jr. go because these teams need a quarterback. The Raiders need a quarterback. The Broncos need a quarterback. The Vikings need a quarterback. I think the Vikings are going to move up. There are other teams that desperately need a quarterback. I don't think Spencer Rattler will go in the top in the first round. I think he'll go in the second. Somebody will reach, but I do think Bo Nix is going to go in the first round. You're going to see six quarterbacks go in the first round, and I think it's going to be in the top 20. I really do. I also think the Cowboys are going to shock everybody and take Jonathan Brooks from Texas at pick 24 because he will not be there, even though he maybe shouldn't go that early. Or Trey Benson, one of those two, they're going to take at 24 because they won't be there for that second round pick for the Cowboys. And they don't have a third, so I don't know. I don't know. I think they're going to have to do it. I think they're going to do it. Other big predictions? Um, I think the Chiefs will go receiver. I do think there's a chance Xavier Worthy falls. He's a big boomer bust prospect. He might go 20, maybe. Or he could fall all the way to the, like, the late second or third. I'm not sure. That's a weird one. I'm not sure with the Xavier Worthy. Um, I think the Packers are going to surprise everybody and take a receiver day two or round two or round three. I'll talk about it more. I'll do another one of these tomorrow and a recap from the first round tonight. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I think some big players are going to get traded, too. I think there's a chance that Justin Herbert gets traded. Or an A.J. Brown. The Bengals actually do one of these trades with Hendrickson or T. Higgins. I think some players players tend to get traded on draft night. There's going to be a... I think there'll be at least four trades and maybe like six in the top 20, including players for movement. There's going to be some trades, guys. It's going to be awesome. I'm very excited. I do think the Bears will stick with Caleb Williams, and I think they'll either land a Dunze or an edge rusher or Brock Bowers for it to pair with them at nine. I don't... I'm starting to think they may not move unless there's a bunch of bunch of capital for them. I think they might just stick that landing spot. I was thinking they would trade early in the week, and now I'm starting to think that Ryan Poles may just stay there and be like, nah, I can get a Roma Dunze who I need because Keenan Allen is injury prone. I need a Roma Dunze. So how about I take a Roma Dunze or Brock Bowers or some awesome tackle or edge rusher just to continue to solidify talent around Caleb Williams? I kind of think that's the direction he's going to go, actually. I want to know y'all's predictions. Please go subscribe to Fun Football Podcast on YouTube. Check me out on Twitter, on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this. I'm really excited for the draft tonight, if you guys can't tell. 
Uh, I'm going to give you another wild. I do think Spencer Rattler goes um, day two. And I absolutely think at least one running, running, running back is actually going to go round one. And I think Brian Thomas Jr. is going to go higher than people think, too. I think this kid's a stud. I think he's going to go in the top 15, at least 20, but maybe 15. And I think at least one defensive tackle will be gone by 20. And all these tackles are just going to go in those teens after Jill Alt. He'll be the first one to go at, to Tennessee probably at 7. So let me know what you think. I'm very excited, guys. I think some wild stuff's going to happen. There's always somebody that people are like, who is that guy? And he goes, like, he's a third or fourth rounder. And you're like, oh, no. They took him because their boards are different than ours. They like guys. They've been scouting them. They, they have prospects they love. And they just fall in love with those players. So, uh, And sometimes they're right and sometimes you know they're wrong. Just, they, they have different boards than we do. So I'm expecting some wild stuff. In the top 20, there's going to be a guy where like, what was that? It's going to happen. And we're going to be like, they took him, and he's like third or fourth round prospect. So, yeah, I expect it. But go subscribe. Check out some stuff. I will have another video for you guys, maybe even tonight, but definitely tomorrow. So see you soon.